Hello! So, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this scribble effect, which is used quite a lot, and it's not that difficult to make. So I was assuming that quite a lot of you would like to know how to make it, and this is quite a simple and easy way of doing it as well. So I hope you enjoy the video. So you want to make a new project, <coughs> and you want to make a new composition. I made mine 1280 by 720 and I made it 10 seconds long and it will be black then you want to go to layer sorry layer new solid and when you're on that pick I'm gonna pick like a dark kind of blue press OK then you want to go to effect generate and ramp and I'm going to change this to a radial ramp which makes it more circular rather than like it's fading downwards and I'm going to make this the dark blue and I'm going to make the black the light blue like that and once I've done that I'm just going to go to the text tool up here and then I'm going to type in Jack the font I'm using is Antipasto it looks quite nice with the scribble effect although it's completely up to you now what a lot of people tend to do here is go to their mask tool and just mask around all the letters but there's an easier way of doing that so you, you want to go to layer new solid and you want to make the color white and then just press OK now your solids like this just drag your solid underneath your text layer here and then whilst on your text layer right click and press create masks from text so now that's done you've got all of your um, all of your letters highlighted like so and then you can get rid of the white solid or make it invisible whatever um, yeah so then what you want to do is whilst on your jack outlines or whatever you've called your text once you've got your masks up go to effect generate and scribble now so straight away you'll see this scribble effect and you'll think what it's only on one of the letters what is this well that's fine on the scribble it's a single mask click the little down arrow and press all masks and that will come up like this now you can change the opacity of the scribble uh, you can change the amount of wiggles in a certain amount of time you can put the start and the end, the stroke width obviously you don't want it to be too thick else there's no point really doing it and as you can see this A here when we click off the text is a bit darker and doesn't really look right so by clicking the little down arrow down here and going to masks you want to find the second A as the first A is the actual outline the second A and just hit delete now it's like that it's nice and clear and now it's a lot better now as you can see the actual text is animated already for you so there's little or nothing really that you actually have to do now and that's pretty much it for the scribble effect you've got it there as you can see I'm rendering it out now for you hopefully you can see it and that's the scribble effect I hope you enjoyed this video you can also do this with objects it works in the same way however the masking process might be slightly different as you might have to actually mask around the object hope you enjoyed this tutorial remember to follow me on twitter hopefully you will enjoy watching my next tutorial whenever i release it i'm thinking of making a new vlog soon so comment in the section below of what i could rant about and i'll enjoy making it see you guys later